of stuck here. The cops won't bother me. Why you should get a maxi scooter over a motorcycle. I've ridden many motorcycles. I've ridden many scooters. I've had many motorcycles, all sorts, BMWs, Triumphs, Yamahas, Hondas, yada yada. And I've never really considered the maxi scooter type of bike. And I think it has a lot to do with value or my perceived value over motorcycles. So for example, for the price of this one, I could get a Ninja 250. And the Ninja 250 is tried and true. It's a very good bike. Even the ones from the early 90s to early 2000s are extremely good. So that's the reason I didn't get scooters. Uh, because I've always thought that they were a little bit too expensive for what you got. So even a 50cc scooter is going to be like 1500 bucks used. Well, you could get a Ninja 250 for 1500 bucks used. So why get a scooter over Ninja 250? First, their maxi scooters especially are so comfortable. I mean, riding this thing is just so easy. It feels very smooth. Like, there's no issues. I can ride this for hours and hours. And the way you sit on it, like a chair, is infinitely more comfortable than a motorcycle that you have to straddle. And the benefit of the maxi scooter is that you actually have the speed of a motorcycle, but it's so convenient. You hop on, you can even hop on with sandals and you can just ride it. I can't talk to you guys enough about how comfortable a maxi scooter or any scooter is over a motorcycle. So, you also have the, the convenience of having an underseat storage compartment. And on maxi scooters, that's kind of limited because the motor kind of takes up a lot of the space, but it's enough that you can live with and not have to cart around tons of things on the book bag or buy saddle cases and get the weight just so much heavier by buying luggage. You just have a really good system. And the convenience of having under seat storage is just amazing. I can just get on the scooter, go to grocery shopping, just shove everything in there. And as long as you don't over shop, you're fine. You don't need any other bags. Scooters also in the United States are extremely cheap because people don't get them because there's an ego attached to riding. In a lot of the posers that ride, they they get bikes for their egos, kind of like stroking their egos. So it's always a little bit of a um, losing game because if you get a Kimco, for example, it, the values don't hold up. So you're getting a bike that not a lot of people know about. Everybody thinks that Kimco is Chinese, even though it's a very decent quality scooter not up to the par of uh, Japanese bikes another thing with scooters is that the resale around the United States is bad but also that's an advantage because if you want a scooter you can get them so much cheaper than you can a motorcycle and if you want a sport scooter they do make scooters that are very sporty like the Yamaha T-Max because when you have a scooter you can pretty much do anything you want people don't get very upset at you for riding a scooter and this one is kind of like a loud obnoxious scooter but I think when people see it go by they kind of go like what the hell is that is that that's a scooter normally if you get like a 250 cc scooter a 150 they actually look like small scooters and you can get away with a lot more stuff than you would on a motorcycle another big advantage of the scooter and the maxi scooter they're so comfortable it kind of lets me enjoy the scenery as opposed to the riding experience a lot of times with motorcycling I feel like I need to push myself get it feels as if I'm trying to learn how to ride but this thing it's much more practical so it kind of feels like what are those guys doing i think they're putting up a uh, american flag or something
Yeah, it feels much more practical. So it feels like you can have a scooter for running errands and it feels like a much better idea to run errands on a scooter than it does a motorcycle. And look at just how wide the seat is. I mean, this thing is just so wide. So even if you're a fat ass, I mean, this thing is gonna be comfortable for you. The previous owner weighed 400 pounds. So as you can see, it's um, this would be the bike for for him and by the way just kind of getting your feet and moving it here it's so much easier than putting your leg over a motorcycle that's uh, got luggage and stuff and by the way like I've ridden plenty of motorcycles it's not like I'm complaining about the geometry of motorcycles it, you know another big benefit of the scooter world is that this is something a lot of people don't tell you you're a almost invin invisible to cops. Cops don't really care about a scooter speeding. Sure, if you're going 100 miles an hour, they'll stop you. But most likely, when you're riding and cops see that you're a scooter, it's like, yeah, man, go ahead. You got bigger issues than I'm equipped to deal with. It also feels much more civilized to ride a scooter as opposed to a motorcycle. I don't know, it just seems like a lot of motorcyclists have very few teeth. Oh yeah, after... See, look at that, it hits my uh, exhaust on the right side because of the... Uh, the exhaust is so low, it's crazy. There's a motorcycle behind me. Some sort of Harley. I don't think the Harley knew how fast the scooter was. way behind you could hear that hog riding <laughs> he's definitely like trying to keep up but I'm not sure why I like these big wide open spaces this feels very much like the west instead of the east coast or at least the Midwest yeah, this bike is for bigger people because the seat is just so up weirdly large, but a wide seat means you're a comfortable rider. That's the beauty of the Maxi Scooter. It's relaxing to ride. It's easy to ride. It's effortless. And I mean, that's exactly what people want in bikes, right? I don't know. At least I am looking for something easy to ride and relaxing. This is where they have the cars and coffee on Saturday morning. Right over there. They usually have the cars and coffee. So what are some of the disadvantages of the maxi scooter as opposed to the motorcycle? Well, the image. I think there's a lot of guys that cannot stand the image of a scooter. And I don't know, I think it's kind of like the same type of guys that are have a violent reaction to the color pink. Uh, I think a lot of people, they use objects to make themselves feel stronger. And I think if you're one of those type of guys, then you're not going to enjoy the scooter. But man, scooters are just so practical. And riding them is just so much easier than a motorcycle. It's just a simple automatic twist and go. But some guys do not like the twist and go. A lot of guys make fun of other guys for riding scooters. There's even this saying is that scooters are kind of like fat women. Just don't let your friends see them ride them. Or some stupid thing like that that dumb guys say to each other. Is that these maxi scooters use so much plastic that to do very basic maintenance you have to remove a lot of plastic and not only that to change your rear tire for example you have to remove the swing arm and I think that's a maxi scooter thing but Kimco especially is a little bit difficult to to work on to adjust the valves I had to pull back the engine so the engine mounts which make very little sense to do for a valve adjustment I've never had to do that on any other bike but when these bikes are running 
and they don't need anything that is fine but if you're going to have to remove all the plastic it is one of those things that you might as well do all sorts of maintenance because like with plastic on these things it's just it's a pain in the ass other than the fact that you have to work on these bikes a whole lot more there's uh, more benefits to maxi scooters than motorcycles in my opinion as commuter bikes these things make the most sense out of every single motorcycle I've had including the ADV bikes which are great for commuting these are even better just the wind protection like in the winter if you have big winters I mean just to protect your knees in from the cold and your body from the cold is quite amazing that's how you stay uh, warm throughout the winter is just by shielding yourself behind here so those are some of the benefits and disadvantages of the maxi scooter I really like it there's a lot of joy riders out today I'm fully enjoying the uh, maxi scooter thing the only thing that worries me about this particular scooter is the gauges going off and especially the temperature gauge uh, the Kimco Handling wise, it um, doesn't corner very well. I think if a lot of people gave scooter riding a chance, they would enjoy it. But the only problem is that people assume that scooters are always the 50 cc's that you rent at the beach and people ride and crash. You know, there is something cool about the 50s, but there's also something extremely amazing about these big maxi scooters yeah so that's the maxi scooter life I mean the bike rides extremely well you would think that oh yeah like an older Kimco like this wouldn't be good but it works yeah the maxi scooters are definitely extremely good and of course you have the under seat compartment look how wide the seat is and you don't have to be getting a um, gator skin seat to be cool like me you could just get like a regular one I'm clearly compensating but this is a 500 cc scooter and it does keep up with a lot of a lot of cars it I think the problem with Kimco is that it's not as well designed as the Japanese makers so just from the fact that this exhaust hits the road when I go around this is an aftermarket exhaust so sometimes I think that it's just because of the exhaust that was bought it would be nice if it was routed a little bit higher but it doesn't seem like it because the dipstick is there so I think this might be just the way it was designed otherwise you couldn't reach the dipstick so there's these little problems with Kimco that I see but if you don't mind the little problems like this you could actually get a Kimco really cheap in the used market and this is the top of the line one this is absolutely the top of the line maxi scooter from Kimco and there's a big demand for the top of the line everything but I think if I was to buy one I definitely would go with the Honda Silverwing or the Yamaha T-Max I had a Yamaha T-Max before and that was amazing I love the way it looks and everything the fit and finish was extremely high um, but I sold that really quickly because pff, I don't know I don't know what the hell I was thinking I shouldn't have but I made some money and I don't know Bergman's are really nice so I don't know if I sell this one I'll probably pick up another maxi scooter I don't even know if I need a 500 though so all right let's get out of Damascus Damascus is really kind of cool it, it seems very old town American and I come here sometimes to look at some old cars so let's get get out of here so I think I really like the scooter life too because you're essentially a little bit of an underdog nobody really knows what to think especially with the maxi scooter it's like all right you got a size sc a scooter that's the size of a motorcycle it's got the speed of a motorcycle but yet it looks like a completely different motorcycle that I'm used to and that's something that I like it's like confusing people and I feel like it's the underdog of motorcycles like a maxi scooter no one knows what to think about it this isn't my real job you know 